Now, if you need some, you need a good midge pattern for the beginning of the season. Uh, and throughout the season you can fish this, but it's a very good one for me at the beginning of the season. This is it, and it's one of the simplest flies you could tie. It's a pheasant tail, basically nymph, tied in black with pearl rib. Uh, so simple to tie. It's got the wee sort of wing buds, fluorescent wing buds there just to highlight it. And you can use like, a, in this case here's a black one again. It's like the same dress, but except I've used orange at the back instead of the red. Uh, you could use a fluorescent chartreuse green or anything like that. They, they work too. Get in, you can change the colour of the fezzy tail to suit, uh, but black, uh, especially in the lobster, you just can't go wrong. Now, it, as I say, it's very simple to tie. Hook choice is up to yourself. I'm using the heavy hook, this is a competition heavyweight from Full and Mill. This one's the, I'll just show you, this one here, competition heavyweight black nickel. And uh, 10s and 12s are good at the beginning of the season, you could go smaller. If you're going to use uh, the bronze version for the smaller one, I don't think they go to a 14, but anyway. Tines, so simple. There's a material called microglint, it's just a metallic thread. This one, this is a red I'm going to be using. Uh, but for this fly I'm going to be using the pearl, just the basic pearl. Now, as I say, it's very simple to tie, you can fill your box really quick. We just simply start at the eye and make them down. The waist piece is going to be or rib, so we leave that on. Take it down, just the point in line with the barb. We've got a dyed black pheasant tail, cock pheasant tail. Bring out a good half dozen or more fibres, 90 degrees from the stem, and the tips will line up. When they line up, tear them away. Now you're looking for a tail length round about the body length. Scratch this on the top, a couple of turns. Just check where I've got the tail there. Don't have the tail too long. The long tail fibres, they break off easier. Short ones last that tad longer. Now as I say, two turns, keep it keep it tight. And then, nice tight turns, take it up. At least two thirds of the way. Now I'm going to wind the, the, the pheasant tail the opposite way. I wind the thread and the rib. It's a weak fibre, so we've got to protect it and it's the best way to do it. So just spread the fibre out. We've got rubby up. So now we turn to straight things. So come across the pheasant tail with a turn, I turn onto the hook, do the same again. That locks it in. Bring my rib up, and this is the waist piece. Bring it out around about four to five times. There we go. Catch that in. And then what we try and do here is encourage the pheasant tail fibre to come up on top. Just as we wind, just bring it up. With the waist piece, just bring it up with it. Take the, th the micro glint, your pearl tinsel to the the eye, or your pearl thread. Going to come down maybe four turns or so. In this case, I'm using this is the Globe Right number four. The yarn now there's it's quite a thin floss. This our yarn is just a. Um, Basically it's really thin, you could tie with this, which I've, do before, I've done many times. But four strands of this, then what you do, I just simply brush it together. Form a heavier floss. Just catch it on the top. Like a zigzag really. Like figure eight, so we've got some down either side. Now I leave it there at this point, and I'll take my pedal up. Just going to build this up a wee bit better. Come back down, and then encourage floss to basically either side of the thorax. So if you look there, force down either side. And then what I'm going to do, just check the thorax. Could maybe, could thicken up a wee touch. So you can take a th micro glint back up and back down. Now pheasant tail, there's the remains of the, the rib there as well, just leave it. Then we can Using my nail, I can then just roll with her, so flatten the fibres out on the top to spread them out. I'm going to show you this. You see, see a turn here to hold that. As you can see, let me check that the, the floss is on the sides, either side. You're happy. So then what I like to do is, you have to finish off. So one, two, three, 
That's good enough. Trim that away. And then we've got all this here, so we can trim it from actually around about a mil or so from the where I've cut it in. A nice straight cut, so if you come from the top down, nice straight cut. And there we are. I see it's a simple way of tying a midge pattern and then to protect that you can use a, a, a resin if you want but in this case I'm just going to use some clear varnish I'm just going to the underside of the thorax I'm just going to varnish it and a couple of coats will fly will last la much longer but these wear out you get through them so you do because the fish do really like them and you'll need a few in your box uh, this is just uh, like a, if you class as a, a bibio version because it's red and black. So you can change the micro glint to a red or so, raw orange, orange works. Copper is awful good. Uh, but as I say, it's a simple way to tie um, basically a midge pattern.